Let's speak bakery business now. As the bakery technology section is one of the departments under the Uganda Industrial Research Institute, which applies uh, to industrial research into the bakery industry and also addresses the needs of the local bakery industry, specifically small medium enterprises. Uh, the section increased production of skilled manpower, increased investment and job creation. The details. Eric Namugenyi, the acting supervisor of the Bakery Pilot Plant and of the Uganda Industry Research Institute, says the Bakery Pilot Plant trains people in different fields according to what they apply for. I try to accommodate all, like if someone comes in with very little money, that is during training, we try to make sure at least we, we train you in whatever you can, you can apply so that you can make money. So we, we have all, all the applications here in regards to baking. The department currently has four incubators who also work in shifts due to the small facility, even when they would love to have as much space as possible as per the applications. applications but then, um, you apply through special project, they send us uh, those that have been endorsed. Currently, at the moment, we have only four incubators and the, the fact that the place is a bit small, we, we can only accommodate two in a day. So we schedule them. Like in the morning, you come early, the first incubator works up to like maybe midday, and then the second one takes on because we, they have to share. They work on a share basis, so they share the space. Because like if they are to bake maybe bread for that day, uh, we wouldn't be able to accommodate more than two because they have to share the proofer, the ovens, and the rest of the of the machines. So we can only accommodate like two at a go. Namugeni further discloses that among the challenges at the Baker Pilot Plant is electricity, which affects the end product, plus the little space. Right, as you came in, you saw that power went off, and then, eh? so, but we are working towards that, because, you know, the moment you you put bread in the profile and then power goes off, it gets challenges. The quality and the safety of the end product is, is compromised. So for that, we are, we, are, we are working on that. We'll get a generator soon. Basically, that's it, and the space, the space constraints. Uh, we would love to take on as many as possible, but the, as you can see, the space is small, so we can only take in a few at a go. Susan, an incubatee, also expresses the small space among the challenges which limits on production as they work in shifts. We always do it in shifts. We are many incubators. We start from morning, like today we started in the morning at 8. We shall be ending by midday. However, somehow it is of a challenge such that the time is not always enough for our production. According to the orders we get from outside, from our customers. But we really appreciate Yuri for their support. For we are here for a short while to help us have enough capital to start out there after some time when we can qualify to graduate. Judith Johanna, the supervisor special projects office, says the institute keeps assessing the incubators before they graduate working independently after a specific period of time. Their progress through the reports they provide to us. And if you're doing production from here, we have technical people on the ground who can see who record your daily production, who record when you sell, when you make sales, who record when you actually make losses and return the, the product. Understand? So that way, because we are, we are dealing with entrepreneurs who are starting, so obviously when they graduate, they're not going to go and establish like a whole big plant, but you're able to stand on your own and say, I can run my business on my own and increase on what I've been doing. What Yuri gives you is a, is a push to start your business. Like, okay, I didn't have the technical support. I did not know the methods of production. I did not know the right way to brand. I did not know that I'm supposed to test. So URI provides you with that kind of support. However, Johanna says the challenges they find with incubators is product innovation and accepting that they are ready to graduate. Businesses don't want to let go of the help they're getting. They say they're like, ah, ah. I still need to be here. I still need to be here. Then maybe another challenge we can have, we can, I can say, is... Um, Innovation. Some businesses don't want to innovate out of what they came with. They don't want to grow out of maybe say mango juice and then they don't want to maybe increase on the 
they don't want to increase on what they have been um, producing, like maybe they've been doing juice. They don't want to try out a new thing, like maybe dried mangoes or maybe mango juice with something else. Get yeah, that sort of innovation, product innovation is. We are finding challenges with our incubators trying to venture into new ideas. All right.